Hey guys, it's your girl Crystal and welcome back to my channel. So, I know it's been a while, but I finally had my baby. I actually went into 41 weeks and I had her on November 22nd. So, yay, I'm a new mommy. Um, I also got engaged. So, we'll be talking about that at another time as well. But today, I'm going to talk about my must-haves for newborns. So, now that I've been a mom for two months, I'm going to share with you guys like some of the items that I feel like help me like every day and the things that i've used like every single day all right so if you are new here go ahead and subscribe because i want to see you back and i know you want to come back for more mommy info so we're gonna go ahead and get straight into it so the first thing that is like literally a must have for me that i have straight out of the hospital is the haka put the haka on the opposite side of where you're feeding or where you're pumping and it gets all of your um let down or drippage or whatever you want to call it I don't know the technical word for it, but it just gets all that milk down. So sometimes when I'm pumping, I can get at least probably like three ounces just from the haka being on the opposite side of from where I'm pumping or feeding. Sometimes it's like kind of difficult for me to have the haka and nurse because her legs are kicking or whatever may be the case, but I definitely do use it when I'm pumping. And I have two of them because like, I'm not about to be washing that same one over and over and over again make sure you have extra pump parts um i just found it like very helpful because at first i only had like one set for my pump and i found myself like having to wash that one and sanitize that one after every single pump and i was pumping like crazy like i was producing so much milk when my baby was first first born it slowed down a little bit but i still pump like four times a day so imagine like washing those pump parts four times all day like you have a newborn nobody has time for that like even when you don't we even when she's not a newborn anymore nobody has time to wash parts all day so i was just like okay let me just order some extra parts oh my god it helped out so much so get you some extra parts because you're gonna listen you're gonna need it Everyone thinks differently, but in my opinion, I think that you should get a couple of newborn, like onesies or whatever. There are so many people telling me, oh, you won't need newborn clothes. They're gonna grow out of them so quickly, blah, blah, blah. Okay, they're gonna grow out of every stage of clothes quickly. So, and then so it is easier to actually be able to hold on to your baby when they're in clothes that actually fit. Here you have a newborn baby and you have them in like three month clothes. Like the clothes are falling off of them. I don't know about y'all, but like that bothered the heck out of me. That just really bothers me. So I had to go and get me a few newborn onesies and stuff once she was born because I didn't have that many. So newborn clothes. So that brings me to my next point of two way zipper onesies they helped so much with like changing at night because you can just zip them straight from the bottom and go ahead and change them instead of having to zip from the top and have their whole body exposed so the two-way zippers uh, onesies really helped i know carter's has them for sure um i don't know who else but i i just have a lot from carter's and then it's better than the buttons to me because I'm kind of slow sometimes and at night you're just tired after nursing, after pumping. You don't have time to try to figure out buttons. Like there's been a couple of times where I've missed a button and I was just like, forget it. I just leave it. Cause like, I'm just trying to go back to sleep. I'm trying to have my baby happy and just not crying. So I just left it. So buttons is just out of the question for me. Um, also you want to get swaddles. Swaddles really help for like the first probably like month because after like two months she just like wasn't having it anymore so um i would recommend getting so i would recommend getting like a couple of different ones just so like you can you know fill out what your baby likes and what's best for you and what's quickest for you because there's so many different different techniques i just did like the one same technique the whole time and it was just best for me and easy for me um, there are some that are already like done. You can just like zip them or like Velcro ones. Velcro ones are loud at night. So if you're just trying to change your baby and they hear like this loud Velcro come apart, then they may wake up. So 
I mean, they were okay, but for the most part, I really like the ones where I just wrap, it's just a blanket and I just wrap her up myself. Um, and also the swaddles helped a lot too, because when they're first born or when they're newborns, they have like a startle. So it helps to keep their hands like close to their side so they sleep better and it's not like waking them up at night. Which um, my baby does still have that startle, but it's not as bad. So she kind of sleeps through it a little bit but I can't really swaddle her anymore. So it sucks because she's like having that startle, but you know, it's really nothing I can do about it. She just has to like grow out of it and get over it, I guess. The next is, oh, a, a caddy. So I have it here. I got this one from Amazon. So what I have in it is just like, I keep it next to the couch where I'm usually at for most of the day. So what I have in it is like diapers, her wipes, um, breastfeeding bags, or I'm sorry, breast pumping bags. I have nursing pads in here, um, an extra binky, and her ointment. So just like everyday things that I use where it's just like I'm not going back and forth to her room to get these things where I can just have it all easily accessible to me like right at the couch. Um, so that is definitely a big help because it's like when you're when you are a new mom and you're just trying to like figure everything out it's you're just trying to have everything easy for you and I found that having this caddy next to me was really easy and just convenient to have diapers like right there with me so I don't have to be going like back and forth all over the place. Next is the Snuggle Me. So I know moms go between the Snuggle Me and the Daka Talk. I just went with the Snuggle Me because it was a little bit cheaper. Um, I read some reviews, but at the end of the day, it was cheaper and I was just like, I'm gonna just go with this one. Um, it's kind of weird because my baby, she liked it at first like when she was like first brought home she loved to just snuggle up in it and she would stay asleep for a while with it and then after like a few weeks it was like she wasn't having it anymore so then i just like put it aside and i was like okay whatever we're done with it and then she's been having trouble sleeping in her bassinet so i was like let's just try this snuggle again so i put her in the snuggle and she's um 11 weeks now and it's just she literally would just stay asleep in the snuggle. I, I call it the snuggle now. She'll just stay asleep in the snuggle me now. So I don't know, like some things you maybe they just get used to and they need a break from it and you go back to it and it's like, oh, I was actually missing this. So the snuggle me, I would actually really recommend the snuggle me. And it's a good lounger. So like if you need to just lay the baby down for a little bit while you go do something, she can just lay in the lounger and just, you can put it on the couch that's really the only place I've ever put it is like on the couch. I wouldn't go too far as putting it on the counter or you know anything like that. Next is the outlet sock. So the outlet sock is basically like a monitor for your baby. It keeps track of their heart rate and their oxygen flow. Um, because when I was in the hospital, I don't know, I just had like this weird thing where when she was asleep, I felt like it was hard to tell if she was breathing. I'm just gonna be real. It was hard to tell if she was breathing or not, and I would find myself like looking over in her bassinet, like, oh my God, is she, you know, is she okay? So I had it on my registry for a while and like no one got it. And I was like, when I get home from the hospital, like I literally need this thing or I'm not going to sleep. So my mom surprised me with it. Shout out to Gigi. She surprised us with the um, outlet. So I literally put it on her ankle every single night, like every night. And if I forget to put it on her and I don't want to disturb her, I don't sleep that well. And then I just wait for her to wake up and then I put it on her. But it like alarms you when her levels are low or, you know, if it's displaced wrong or it's like falling off or something, it'll let you know. And there's an app on your phone you can get and then the actual like, um, the actual base of it will alarm too. It makes noise if like something's wrong. Um, nothing's ever been wrong with her. Like her levels have always been normal. 
So, um, but I do know what it sounds like when like things are wrong, it like flashes red or whatever. And then if everything is going okay, it's just flashing green the whole time. So I would recommend you get that if you have like anxiety on, you know, whether your baby is okay or not, because it, it helps me just sleep a little bit better at night and, you know, just get over like that anxiety. The next thing is the hatch sleep. So that is basically like a nightlight that I have like in the corner of our bedroom because she's sleeping in our room right now. So I just have it in the corner on our nightstand. It's just basically a nightlight and a sound machine as well. So a sound machine helps the baby sleep a little bit better at night. And it, heck, it even helps us sleep a little bit better at night. I know me. Um, sometimes it helps me get to sleep because it's like soothing. There's um, music on there that you can play. There's like three different uh, music options. Um, there's like a rain noise, a washer noise. Um, there's a few uh, like ocean. There's all different types you can choose from. You can also choose like the color that you want the light to be. Um, right now I just have it on like a white light because it's easier for me to see into her bassinet at night. Sometimes I'll change it up and have it rotating on different colors just for her so she can look at it. But for the most part, I just keep it on the, the white light. Um, and it's great because you can control it from your phone, but you can also like tap on it. So like to turn it on and off if you're just like walking past or like whatever. Um, and you don't want it hooked up to your phone, but I would definitely just hook it up to your phone. So like when you're in the bed nursing or, you know, trying to put her to sleep, you don't have to get up to turn it off. You can just use your phone to turn it on and off and you can use your phone for like the volume of it and everything else. Um, the next thing is going to be seventh generation um, detergent. So at first I had gotten the draft detergent, I think it's called, but then I like read a lot of reviews on it and like basically it's really not that great of a detergent if you really read more into it. So the seventh generation is more of like a organic, more um, natural detergent to use. So I wash all her clothes in that, um, all the towels. Basically, I just swapped out my old detergent and used this detergent for everything because it makes no sense to use it only on the baby clothes and the baby stuff and not your stuff when you're basically holding the baby all day. Your, you have her on like your sheets. So it's just like, why not use one detergent? It just, it makes sense. I mean, if it doesn't make sense, then I don't know. It makes sense to me. The last thing are burp cloths. Um, I actually have one right here. Um, I got this one, I got these from Amazon. I think it comes in a pack of like six and they're pretty cheap and they're very absorbent and like a really great, great quality. And they're easy just to like throw on your shoulder like that and hold the baby up and burp her or for whatever else you need, maybe like spills and such. So those are very, very helpful. Um, I think that is it for right now. Um, what the, those are just like the items that I think that help me the most right now. Um, it has only been 11 weeks, but for the most part, those were like really great for me. Um, everything that I did talk about, I'm gonna have it linked below. So, and then you guys let me know what you guys is like must have the word or are let me know if you have any questions i know i am new but i have learned so much and i do have a lot of advice to give if you guys want it i know like being pregnant and being a new mom you don't want to really hear like you should do this you should do that and so that's all if you really enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up make sure you subscribe tell your friends share all that good stuff and I will see you in the next video. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.